Got another slug load here for you. These are the Chedite Ballistic Products, brand new skivs. Two and three quarter with the Chedite Primer. They're like uh, 15 to 17 cents each. This is the Lightning 7 eighths or L078 wad available from Ballistic Products. Uh, this is with a Lee one ounce slug. Fits pretty well. We'll try uh, five like this with the slug just in, inside the wad. This is a 7 8 wad with a one ounce slug. And then I'm going to try a few with the uh, nitro card. See how that affects the crimp. Uh, a couple notes here. So this is a pure lead. Lee one ounce slug and then this is I just dropped this onto like a moist towel and then this is a uh, same thing pure lead but this one I dropped into actual water a couple inches of water so you can see how that affected uh, the shine and I can tell you that it is um, physically I could feel that it's harder so I mean that's one thing when you're casting if you're casting into into water it will make your casting uh, that much harder so it's it's not an exact science that that i can do really but i don't have a hardness tester but anyways just kind of an interesting note the bpi slug manual has a, a weight for the load these are coming out very very close 437 the manual says this is 436.2 uh, last note here, my Lyman scale, I've complained about a little bit drifting in my other videos and I think I figured it out. So I started to notice that um, not only was my level a little funky, but static. These pocket scales, digital scales, you always have to be mindful of the static on your workbench. So try to remove any plastic products, any conductors, uh, anything close that will... Um, give a charge or throw a charge around the area of the scale the other thing is to get a dryer sheet you know like what the wife uses to to throw in with the clothes in the dryer and wipe down all the surfaces around the scale i've noticed that this thing is much 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 more consistent now the last thing about this load is this is a 700x ballistic products manual they say use uh, 22 grains so i'm going to load up about 10 of these, these will look real pretty. We'll use the Lee load all. The thing I also like to do is hit my wads with a little bit of this wad slick. So we got one slug just uh, with no nitro card just sitting in the wad. It's a little difficult to see, but on this one I got a nitro card. So I'll crimp both of these with the uh, Lee load all and then we'll see which one comes out better. First two crimped here and they're coming out about the same. This uh, Lightning 78 watt is really, it's got a really nice cushion section. So any little bit of pressure, it's just pushing the wad down further and you can see I'm getting a little bit of a concave in my crimp. So, I mean the nitro card, it's not absolutely necessary. I'm still gonna do five and five and keep track of which one's which. Make sure you guys uh, subscribe so you can check out part two when I go out and shoot these. I got a lot of different things I need to go out and shoot, but uh, it's been so hot in the desert where our shooting land is that uh, we haven't been able to get out there yet, but we will. I'm gonna finish crimping these. Another really cool thing about these um, Chedite two and three quarter clear shells is you can see what's in there. You can see the slug and I mean, if you know your wads, you can see kind of what wad it is and how your crimp is doing. Um, so really, really cool. I don't know how many reloads I'll get out of these Chedites, but we'll, we'll check it out together. Again, please, please make sure to subscribe and uh, stay tuned for part two when we go out and shoot these. I got the chronograph. We'll try to chrono a few of them. We'll see how the old handy dandy high score 700 performs. See you guys soon. Take care.